Hello everyone and welcome to We Are OFK. So for this episode it's actually split into two parts because the games episode for episode 3 is actually like 62 minutes long. Um, so it goes over a little bit of the time limit for the editing software that I'm using. So I'm actually going to split this in half and kind of just make it its own episode. Um, or I'll do some edits, some tricky edits, <laughs> and get it all to fit. So with that being said, we're going to get started and I hope you enjoy. Be my little baby bumblebee Bring home all the honey love to me Let me spend the happy hours Roving with you amongst the flowers And when we get where no one else can see You done? Hi. Uh, yeah, I just finished my shift. Nice. Break any glasses today? Only a few hearts. We've talked about these jokes. Okay, to be fair, I would classify that as less of a joke and more of a pun. Anyway, I'm calling a ride. Uh, you still want to meet at Sycamore? See you there, Galaxy. Cool, 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 cool. You don't think the lyrics are too emo for a dance track? No way. That's the reason I messed with that one in the first place. Hmm, I think my dating hiatus is bringing out the sad boy in me. Thirst is the mother of invention. I'm stealing that. So you think five songs for the EP? That's generally a good number. 18, 1, 2, 3, 4. We have like nine tracks in decent shape. Oh, fuck. What about a Christmas? No, Luca, we are not doing a holiday song. You're a music Grinch. Okay. <laughs> Let's name the band and get an EP out, and then you can try to sell me on that, okay? Well, give me a hint for what kind of song could melt the cool Jay Zhang. Fucking snow falling. Okay, deal. Okay, EP, focus. Um, 
I fucking love Fool's Gold. It's not a first single, but it belongs for sure. And it has your charming overthinking. Plus, Luna and Tom had some dope ideas for it. Here, let me hit them up. Wow, it's happening. Long way to go, buddy. Hey, Vincent Mode's doing a private listening party tomorrow. Whoa, are you going? Can I come? Yeah, you're in. He only releases like one song a year at this point, so could be a rare chance to hype our EP. Jay, oh my god. Is this our break? Is this the moment all the stars talk about? a la mode where it all began are you gonna be this much of a dork at the party come on i'll keep my cool even if vincent serves matcha smoothies shaped like microphones like he did at his april fool's party what jay what you want me to name it you sure yeah yeah go ahead all right how about the money maker Ooh, okay like my face i love it why is it so black oh that's the activated charcoal so it's just charcoal and gin and simple syrup oh god what gin are you using for test batches jay you don't want to know it's like not even bottom shelf it's sub basement you would never forgive me Mm. This drink tastes like how I feel. That's a bad review. I'm on the other side of the bar, and even I can tell your foot hasn't stopped bouncing for the last half hour. You okay, kid? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. I'm just nervous for my concert. But I think I'm prepared. And a major concert master is attending who I'm hoping could hook me up. Maybe even give me a spot in his orchestra. That's amazing. Incredible, Itsu. Well, good news for you. Luca's money maker is good luck. Thanks. Ooh, maybe I'll make it tomorrow for Vincent Mode? Luca, please don't bartend at his house. Please don't do that. What's the situation with this guy? How'd he get so mega famous? You know, my usual story. He got lucky and had a huge hit when he was 19. Then he managed to not fuck it up. The Christmas song helped. Uh, what's that? I'm just saying that holiday dance track he did really got him into the U.S. market. Luca, we're not doing it. So yeah, he's a lucky rich boy, but his shit's pretty good, even if he's gotten kind of stale. But if he posted about our single just one time on Cinnamon Gram, we would go gold overnight. Ooh, new drink idea. Oh no.
Itsu. Hi, it's me, hi. If you want, I think I could install debug on top of your piano as a live visualizer. Hey, a debug, run visuals. Sequence 22. <laughs> Carter, you are sweet, thank you. Debug, I don't think the classical music world is ready for holograms. You're gonna be a fucking smash, Itsu. Well, whatever it is, I can't wait to hear. You know, I play for Tom and Luna sometimes. I'm so hype you guys are working together. Yeah, getting their fresh ears on my production helps a lot. And Luna's done a ton of lyric work with Luca. Dope. And you know who to call if you need some serious guitar on the track. <laughs> I've got your number, Wedge. So how about you? You going out to Vegas again for Vincent's residency? For sure. He doesn't use me much for that show, but you know I'll be chilling out there. I heard you killed it on this track. Excited to hear it. Thanks. <sighs> to be honest with you, it's been pretty drama. Well, what's up? Biggs and V have been getting into some rumbles. <sighs> Let's just say this song was kind of a nightmare. Shit. Over what? Jay, I swear to God I'm gonna throw up if I drink another matcha microphone. I've never been so happy. Luca, chill. And the view here is gorgeous. Jay, remind me to buy a house like this. If you make this much money, I'd better be making more. Lips kicking wedge? I'm feeling fucked up from that food, dude. This cater is shit. What, sushi not good enough for you? Albacore makes me gassy as fuck. V's got a spring for uni next time. Yeah, it's not great. Um, you meet Jay before? Yeah, we've crossed paths. Still, uh, tracking for commercials? And charted four times last year, but sure, sometimes. Riding Vincent seems to be going well for you. Whoa, just making small talk. Cool to see you're still a firecracker, Jess. It's Jay. All right, gang, let's party like our dogs just died. Living room, five minutes. You're gonna want to sit down for this. I don't know what he was talking about with the sushi. The Philadelphia rolls are dope. I know. It's like the cream cheese I dream about. Ugh. Are you even serious with this swimming pool bullshit? You okay? I'm great. I'm doing my job. I'm the only one in this group doing my job, and I'm over it. Do you want to see an owl? I want to always be seeing an owl. Thank you. Made this little guy for an animation freelance gig. Took me three afternoons, but it was a good break from making CG rain fall on another sad sailor. That's the stuff. Thanks. God, you'd think our department would have its annual crisis shit together. Shouldn't we have a few things smoothed out for a tournament that happens on exactly the same week every year? Why are there so many surprises? Tell it to the owl. Sorry, owl. Where's Debug? Outside, I think. Debug can just wander away? How does that even work? I don't let them get too far. I need them for a project. Good. I love them forever. Forever is the plan. Oh, Carter. I gotta get some momentum with piano. I, I just feel so tired all the time. I hope this concert turns it around. It will. I've heard you practicing for weeks. It will. I just wish I could make shit like you. You're always churning out art, and like me, I just play other people's music. I'm a key frog. You interpret other people's music. Sometimes I look around and there's no evidence I've ever made anything original at all. I make moving images that disappear when the night's over. Who's to say what will last? Get out of this video games bro club studio before I strangle someone with their own headset.
Aren't they finally inviting Genesis Kator robots to the Met Gala? No. No, I think I just found Jay and Luca a sync licensing deal. How do you mean? The director of marketing, Peter Jung. He's looking for a song for Mizu VNA, the new mech we're launching at Annual Crisis. The one they fired Luca for writing perfectly? Uh huh, yep, that one. She's the biggest launch we've done, ever. And for a huge intro ceremony, he wants a song from an unknown band. The viewership on Annual Crisis is like tens of millions. Dang. You think Luca will go for it after how they treated him? Tens of millions. Where will you go tonight? Well, such a fucking hit, bro. Yo, it's dope, V. It hooks. That's it? Gang, give me more. You're the finest ears in the biz. You're not just here for the free jelly bops. What's up? Come on, V. We can't change anything at this point anyway. Can't? Come on, Biggs. Mode doesn't do can't. Huh. You! I don't even know you. Give me something. Well, it does hook. Your last single used boring MIDI for the keys. This one sounds like you got a real player in there. V, ignore her. The fuck does some engineer know about hooks? She's just a knob monkey. Why is she here then, huh? I think she's dating someone. Okay, you know what? Here's what's up, Vincent. The Vox production eats. It sounds like whoever engineered it just slapped on a template vocal chain. It feels thin. It actually makes your vocalist sound flat, which is too bad because she has a great tone. Huh. That's... that's a lot. Eh, this chick doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about. Yeah? How many successful clients did you have before Vincent, Biggs? Let somebody get her out of here. Damn, Jay. Wait, wait, wait. You're Jay? That Jay? Like, the engineer on Alpha's vibration single? Yeah. Hi. Thanks for having me. You have a lovely home. Holy shit. I thought you were a dude. The Mizuguchi twins say you're a genius. Uh, she is like, um... For what it's worth, I loved your production on Show Up. Rodalia's vocal sounded dope as fuck, and I wouldn't talk shit if I didn't think this could be better. Yeah, well, this one wasn't entirely me. Vincent, don't. Don't what? We're all friends here. Let's be real, you dumped your mixed guy on me with his weak shit. Dumped? Ollie didn't want to do another track with you, remember? You needed someone, and I pulled through. Like I always do for you. And what thanks do I get? You get that fucking watch and that Esposito GT parked out front. So, how about these green-ass smoothies? So green. Jay, sorry about Biggs. He's not an artist like we are. Can't take critique. Well, I suggest you lock the door behind him. Ha! <laughs> so, what are you working on now, anyway? Well, uh, I've got a new project. I work out of Sycamore most days. Why don't you come through sometime and I'll play you some hits? I'll be there tomorrow. And then, he just ended the party right there. Holy shit! Legend! And Biggs never came back? Oh, I'm sure he was lurking around the corner. He can't actually afford to leave. I do truly hope that guy finds his way into a frickin' wood chipper. Him and that guy you work with, what, Kevin? Kevin. <laughs> you are a god. That's like the time your song came on at the bar, after that dude spent 20 minutes mansplaining mixing to you? Eh, uh, I don't know. What is it? I'm just wary of shitty dudes. Duncan on Biggs felt like crushing a cold beer, but... I don't know, I've had that shit go real sour on me before. What happened? It's fine. I just... I know the danger of male fragility. Hey, you've got this. You got me, you got us, we got your back. No one's gonna touch the squat. And Biggs better stay the fuck away from our business. Thanks. 
I doubt Vincent will show up tomorrow anyway. There's a lot of talk in this world, and I don't see Vincent benefiting from helping us. Like something will come up, he'll be charming and apologetic and get me a backstage pass for some show, and that'll be it. Mm, I don't know. I've got a good feeling about this. Something lucky is about to happen. Especially if we get that annual crisis deal. Yeah, well, well, it's maybe impossible. I don't even know how to contact Peter John. Doesn't he work with you? Yeah, 2,000 people work with me, and he's the boss of most of them. If anybody can figure it out, you can. You're gonna make this happen. Mm, I'm gonna try my fucking hardest. Oh, there she is. Oh, you're so fucking hot when you're determined. Yo, if you like this, wait till you see me review a contract. Your pants will fall off. How to contact a very executive man. Hmm, I can't just email him. His assistant's gonna filter out anything that doesn't come directly from a major record label. Hmm, how about you book a seat next to him on a plane? When he falls asleep, tap into his dreams. Change the course of his life. Profit. I like where your head's at, Carter. Hmm. Oh shit, there's that mixer tonight. Fuck, I totally forgot with all this concert stuff. I know a powerful hypnotist. Just say the word. Okay, okay. On Cinnamon Graham, Peter Jung checked in at the Java Bar in Venice, so he's in town. Oh, fuck. And then someone just commented, see you tonight, boss. We got him! Hmm, okay. Yeah, okay. What plans brew in there? I'm going to the party. I'm gonna hack into Peter Jung's brain and plant our band in there. You're going to need a story. What do you mean? You can't just hype the music. This guy is a capital B businessman, which means it's easier to deceive him than to convince him. What, so I say I'm the band leader? Isn't that a conflict of interest? Directors of marketing don't care about conflict of interest. And no, you're their manager. <gasps> manager. I'm a powerful. You're a big timer. You're doing him a favor. You're making his job easier. He'll love it. How do you know so much about Peter Jung? He's just another rich power luncher in a suit. I've met many Peter Jungs. Gin and tonic. Got it, honey. Want a splash of elderflower in there? It's my little specialty. You have a specialty? Uh, no, but my adoring patrons don't know that. Patrons? Yeah, so my latest strategy is a host club vibe to earn myself some regulars. And then, maybe I'll even find an aspiring vocalist who I can give voice lessons to. <laughs> I admire your forward thinking. Let's get your singing sold to Vincent Mode first before you start teaching your cocktail fan club. Who are, by the way, out at 2 p.m. on a Tuesday? Yeah, a lot of rich kids with unusual schedules in downtown LA. Here you go. Oh, love that jacket. Okay, sorry, hi. I still can't believe he's coming. Same. So yeah, I say lead with follow, unfollow. I've spent the most time mixing that one. I trust you. Your engineering is impossibly brilliant on that. Hey, thanks. I'll start with that and maybe go into a little fool's gold. Go team, you're gonna step on his heart. <laughs> what? It's a good thing. You're great, Galaxy. I- He's ready for you. Gotta go, buddy. Thanks.
Damn, they give you Studio A? Not bad, Jay. Please don't get up. Uh, hey, thanks for coming through. Can I get you a drink or something? All good. I helped myself to a bag of Jelly Bops in the lounge. You know, I appreciated your realness yesterday. I hope Biggs relayed that on the phone. He didn't call. Well, I'm relaying it now. You're good. And I want to support young artists. Well, thanks. Um... Um, I'm working on this new project that I think you'll fucking love. I'm working with a songwriter that I discovered back in New York in the underground scene. Uh, you might have met him at your house. Let's hear it. Uh, yeah, sure thing. You need something? I need you, Jay. You've got an incredible ear and some kind of magic with vocalists. I already had Alpha send me some of the other demos you did for him. You are a diamond. Thanks. I work really well with Luca, the songwriter that I'm... I want you to come be my exclusive engineer. <laughs> Whoa, uh, exclusive? You get to be on call with me for recording and touring at all times. Full-time salary, benefits, all the perks of being on the Mode 8 crew. Wow, uh, well, I, I need to keep going with my own projects in my free time. Jay, this is a serious job. You work for me, you work just for me. I need you on a non-compete. That's gonna be tough. It's a huge step up, Jay. Your name's gotten around, but hardly. Let me get you really out there. Interviews in Tuner Magazine, access to my events. Can I think about it? Get back to me by tomorrow. We don't fuck around in mode eight. We're gonna do amazing things, Jay! Vincent Mode, Mode, M O D E. Vincent Mode, yes! I saw him on the Eileen show. You should take a job, Jessica. Your friend will understand. I guess so. Vincent looked very happy on TV. Maybe you will be happy. She would be successful. I know, but Mom, I'm worried that this will be a dead end for my career if I work in the shadow of a star. The salary is good. How is that dead end? It's really different work. I mean, I, I could have just taken a more stable job from the start if I was going to settle for something like this. Who is settling? You could be on a TV with a big pop star. No, I couldn't. That's not what this job is. It's support. I'll be a tool for his career. Oh, we want the best for you. You can still enjoy music and have this job. It's a good to have hobbies. Mom, music is not just my hobby. Jessica, you are yelling. I'm sorry. I'm. I just want something different than you. We come stay with you next month and meet him to make sure. C can we just talk about one thing at a time, please? You know what? I need to go. What are you doing? Where are you? I have a date. <sighs> Shit.
So a lot of things are going on with Jay. She has to make a decision about where her career is going. She has to make sure that she's there for her friends that she's been helping for the last few months. She's got to make um, sure that she's not disappointing her parents. So it's, it's a lot, it's a lot of decisions and I wish that she would talk to Luca and them about it, but I understand why she's not wanting to. With that being said, we're going to continue this in the next episode and I'll see you then. Have a good day. Bye. Oh, my God.